In this demonstration, we are going to show you the folding support offered by Oxygen XML. An XML document is organized as a tree of elements. When working with a large document, you can collapse some elements, leaving in focus only the ones you need to edit. For this demonstration, we chose to work with a fairly large XML file, for which the folding support is of great help. Expanded blocks are marked with a small blue outline triangle pointing down. Press the triangle marker to collapse or expand the fold. Collapsed blocks of XML are marked with a small blue field triangle pointing right. Also, the first row in the block shows the number of hidden lines. More actions like close other folds, collapse child folds, expand child folds and expand all are available in the folding markers contextual menu. Another unique feature of Oxygen is the fact that the folds are persistent. This means that the folding structure is immune to a format and indent action. See that this element now spans on two lines and the three folds below are unaffected. Also, the folding structure is kept intact when you want to close the document and reopen it at a later time. Now we'll see how we can copy folded blocks. We'll open personnel.xml and collapse an element. When you want to copy an entire folded block, make sure that you select the line that hosts it, including the new line character that follows. Now we collapse all child folds of the root element to unclutter the editing area. When you paste the copied block, it is shown expanded. Now we change the new element's ID to get rid of the validation error. Expanding and collapsing works on individual elements. Expanding an element leaves the child elements unchanged. Also, when you select an element in the outline view, if it corresponds to a collapsed block, Oxygen automatically expands it. The folding support is also available in the author mode. To control what elements are foldable, you need to edit the document's associated CSS file, which in our case is folds.css. And here are the properties that define the section 1 element as foldable. Also, the figure child element is foldable with an initial folded state set to true. The figure element is declared as a non-foldable child of section 1 being displayed even when the section 1 element is folded. Concluding, the folding support is available in both text and author modes, allowing you to produce persistent folding structures. And this concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching.